I built this transforming scooter some months ago and I ride it on and off depending on my mood. One thing I found kind of bothersome was how rigid the ride is, especially when riding over small cracks in the sidewalk. Today I want to smooth out the ride, maybe. To see how I do this, stay tuned. If you've ever been a fan of motocross, and this would be the motorcycle kind, you know that what they ride is basically a frame with two wheels and a very powerful motor. I know suspension plays a big part in this also, but suspension aside, the point I want to make is that's basically what an electric skateboard is, except with more wheels. Looking at the dirt bike again, you'll notice the front wheel diameter is larger than the rear wheel. The reason for this, along with help from the shock absorber, is the larger front wheel helps provide stability and control over typical motocross terrain. On the other hand, the smaller rear wheel helps with the torque and power with a smaller motor than would have been needed if you had used a rear wheel the same size as the front. With that in mind, I'm guessing the size of my Meepo's rear wheels are just fine for the electric motor that it was designed with, so I won't be touching that in this project. What I'm going to do is see if I can DIY or buy two larger front wheels to see if the motocross concept applies to my electric scooter and maybe help smooth out its ride. I've got my fingers crossed on this one, so let's get started. For the past week, my mind was stuck on trying to DIY something using an old set of front wheels with something probably glued or clamped around it. The clamp on one really stood out because if I did create something like that, I could probably sell it as well. Then one day, I decided to look up 4-inch skateboard wheels on Amazon. In that search, I couldn't find any 4-inch wheels for skateboards, but what did appear that caught my eye were kids' scooters. At that point, I wondered, how do scooter wheels attach? Maybe I can retrofit those onto a skateboard since they are just about the perfect size. To make a long story short, what I found after a day of research, then maybe another day of confirming it was true, is that skateboard wheels and scooter wheels use the exact same size bearing. If I can find the size scooter wheel I want, I should be able to take off the skateboard wheel, mount the scooter wheel, and that's it. To get the wheels, I originally planned on picking them up from Amazon, where they were going for about $20. Instead, out of anxiousness, I came across this scooter while grocery shopping, and since it looked like it had the wheel size I needed, I bought it. $40, but with no delivery wait time. Removing the wheels from the scooter requires two Allen wrenches in the size of the single one provided with the scooter. The wheels were pretty easy to remove, two minutes and two Allen wrenches, and it was no problem. I put the wheel on the axle, and it went on with a nice snug fit, but right away I could see there was a problem. If you look closely at the remaining axle sticking out of the wheel, there's less than a quarter inch of threads left. I decided to at least test the new setup. With Loctite bread on the threads, I tightened the nut down, even leaving off the washer so that the nut would have as much threads as possible to hold on to. I've been using the skateboard at the park, so the handlebars had to be remounted, which isn't too hard to do. Two bolts through the mounting holes on the deck and hold everything in place with a couple of nuts and washers. I'm going to start by riding in the parking lot just to be sure everything's working okay and to get the feel of the new front wheels. I initially thought this video was going to be an upgrade to my scooter only, but now I realize the larger wheel will be a permanent fixture for both my skateboard and my scooter. With a larger diameter scooter wheel, the ride comfort, stability, and smoothness of the ride improves substantially. I feel this is an upgrade anyone with an electric skateboard should consider. Of course, there's the problem with the axle being too short. I'll have to look for a longer replacement, but I do have some ideas of what I can do for that. I hope this video can help you with more stable and smooth electric skateboard rides. Leave your questions and comments in the comment section below. That's all I have for now and I'll catch you in the next video.